Hi guys, welcome to my channel Wild Ray. It's a lifestyle channel with focus on self-development and this is a new series that I'm starting on my channel. It is called Glow Up With Me. Actually, I gave 2021 a name, which I usually do. I always give names to my year uh, and this year is called Glow Up. I was just so tired of the old ways of the old habits and I knew that I needed a change and so I'm starting this glow up series as a you know tracking device for myself and just to share my experience my knowledge and my progress with you so those episodes will be coming out in the beginning and at the end of each month and there will be sometimes in between episodes like in the middle of the month the episodes that will be coming out in the beginning and at the end of the month they will be primarily about like social media and me trying to grow um youtube and blog and instagram and tiktok and just working on my strategy and uh, organizing myself and my content and the episodes in between will be more about my health and what i eat and the way i exercise and my mindset so yes if you are in the process of changing your life please join me i think when it's a group effort it's just so much better in this video i just want to briefly talk about my project you probably just saw my side hustle video and just my thoughts about side hustle and how we as people should start pursuing it and so i just want to share a few things uh, of what I do. So I have three main projects for me or side hustles. One is Wild Thing Zine. It's my creative zine that I started last year in 2020. Um, uh, there were ups and downs. There were moments where I was absent for a few months because of how I felt, because I was not inspired. But uh, I think it was last year or beginning this year when my mindset really shifted and when I started pursuing my zine and this blog and I mean YouTube channel and blog that goes together with this channel, my Instagram and my another project more as jobs and I realized that I need to show up for those things. I cannot just fall into the sadness or like depressive mood for a few months and then come back and see that there was no growth. Instagram isn't pushing my content anymore because it can hurt you a lot. So yes, I do have a zine uh, and we have Twitter, Instagram and the website. I am primarily looking into growing the Instagram website just comes um, as an additional tool whether interviews and stories and poetry and art. People click on the website regardless. Uh, so of course I'd like to grow it even more so that people would find the website and would know what Wild Things In is not only on Instagram but outside Instagram as well. My second project that I started is a creative channel, Art May. I started Art May I think two weeks ago and I also have an Instagram page where I try to post every single day or every other day and scheduling tools like scheduling apps and scheduling platforms really help me with that. I use Later for Art May and I have uh, another Tailwind I think I use for Wild Things In. Those are different platforms and they will really set by different needs. If you're looking into scheduling platforms, there are a few. I use Planoly, I use Tailwind and I use Later and I can talk about them later if you want to. They are free platforms, they have also paid plans but for free you can also get enough of, you know, posts and whatever they offer. So yes, this definitely helps Artmay. I plan to upload one video per week for uh, Artmay. So far, so good. Although, again, I need to start like batching my my uh, content. And growing Instagram is probably the hardest. It's the first channel that I'm starting from like absolutely scratch for Artmay, which is so hard. I'm not being sad though. I know um, it like followers and subscribers will, will come and just take some time. Again, this is another thing that I learned. It's not my first time starting a blog or Instagram page or YouTube. And what changed now is that I know people will come and I just need to be organized, consistent and stay goal oriented. I think the previous times I was not goal oriented and I was all over the place. I would make two videos and would think this is just so sad. I don't have thousands of subscribers but this is not how this internet world works for the majority of us for some it works like that but not for the majority of us so i see that a lot of people do the same thing they upload 10 videos and they're just so upset that they don't have followers 
keep improving your content, keep becoming better, keep working on yourself, on your appearance, the way you look. For me also every video it's a constant battle with myself. Julia say this, Julia don't say that, you know. Even this phrase, you know, I probably repeat it like a hundred times and it's a very bad thing for me because I say it so, so many times. And my final and last project is Wild Ray. It's actually my blog, my Instagram and my YouTube channel and also Pinterest. Pinterest is kind of the easiest I see grow there day by day when I um, pin a lot of the things. If I don't pin anything manually, I always have scheduled posts uh, through Tailwind and uh, when I do not pin manually I see a little bit of growth or no growth whatsoever. When I pin manually there is like a big jump in growth which is amazing. Uh, blog, I do kind of struggle with like visuals. I constantly work on my blog and improve it. My blog is dedicated to personal development, wellness, a little bit of style and just you know day-to-day -to -day topics but primarily again self-development, wellness and self-help, self-love, everything that comes to you know developing you, you yourself as a person and just becoming a better person and this youtube channel is the same it's primarily lifestyle with self-development a little bit of wellness a little bit of everyday things that happen in my life again i know that this growth will be so hard and because the market is already so saturated and my niche is lifestyle and lifestyle can mean so many different things and just recently i understood that even within lifestyle i need to niche down personal development i need to niche down and it is hard so I'm still still working on that and I'm trying to work on Instagram and TikTok. It's just so incredibly hard. I leave all the links down below and I'm so, so eager to see the progress. I think the growth on Pinterest really kind of pushes me and gives me this like extra inspiration because I see it can go from zero to like 1500 views so that's cool and you may say julia 15,000 views it's nothing how many followers do you have how many clicks you have you're right you're right you're right you're absolutely right there are people who have millions of views uh, per month but for me it's something it's been only like what three or four weeks since i'm on pinterest and for me it's a lot and i know that i can be boring i talk too much but i'm working on that i am I'm working on that. I do believe in myself. I think another shift that happened in my mind is that I know that if I put a lot of work and I'm consistent and organized, I can do that. So that was the first episode of Glow Up With Me. I cannot wait to see the growth. And again, if you have a side hustle, if you have another project, share it let's just help each other i see a lot of smaller creators on youtube which i love so much again thank you so much for watching share your links share your projects in the comments down below do not forget to follow me on instagram and like this video i see you in the next video and let's glow up together okay bye <laughs>